had an accident. There, dump station is overflowing, and I wonder if there's any way we could dump our tanks at your campground. Ah, uh, good old Marmaduke! Looks a lot cleaner. Looks good. 40 minutes of cleaning it. Get yeah, better. Yeah. That happens. Windshield cleaner. As I recall, we have to get going. <laughs> Should you just dirty up? here at Cuyahoga Valley National Park uh, and we're actually in the Boston Hill Visitor Center right now but we're gonna hike a couple trails it's been a while since we've been able to hike so hopefully the, that will be a good time whenever mom leaves the uh, car you can tell that uh, the dogs get very anxious and, and they're waiting patiently here so I'm slowly on her way back and Tito can't wait for his uh, chair, his armrest to be held. Here comes mama, coming back in. Let me get a real quick video of this. <laughs> There's a uh, smoke or steam coming off of the, the roof here. Okay. Okay. The visitor center doesn't open until 9.30, but in the summer the rangers come out early. So they're outside, they have maps, they're here to offer guidance, so got ourselves a map to go on Brandywine Falls Trail from Stanford, the Stanford Trailhead. Let's do it. <laughs> We're starting at Stanford House because Brandywine Falls Trailhead is under construction right now. So um, from over here, it'll be a 3.8 mile loop. So we just do the Stanford Trail and jump over Brandywine Falls. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Highly recommend Brandywine Falls. <clears throat> it's a very, very pretty waterfall. There are a couple different overlooks. It took us about 40 minutes to get here from West Branch State Park, which wasn't too bad in the grand scheme of things because that's a, a really nice park too. <laughs> it's time for another episode of Angela's advice and Ryan's recommendations. My first piece of advice is to see Brandywine Falls. <laughs> uh, it's actually very beautiful. 
So my recommendation would be to go ahead and when you're parking, uh, park at the Stanford house. Uh, make sure you park behind the barn. So my second recommendation is to have good hiking shoes because it is slippery. My second piece of advice is to bring bug spray. Or some tall grass, so we'd like to do a quick tick check to make sure there's nothing obvious on us with a dog. Oh, Tito's easy. <laughs> you just flip him over. Tito. He says, I hate this plot. Savage tends to take a little bit longer. But if they're if they're big ticks, you can feel them. Yeah, we've been in all different regions of where there's been small little tiny like sea ticks. Uh, chiggers obviously you're not going to be able to see, but the larger deer ticks, those are the ones that are easier to find. Yeah. Seems pretty good. So far so good. Shake it off. Shake it off. Another piece of Angie's advice is to go to Boston Hill Visitor Center first uh, and use a restroom because Stanford House does not have any bathrooms. If you have your RV with you, there is bus and RV parking here. It's right across from Boston Hill Visitor Center, so you don't have to drop it off anywhere first. We've arrived at uh, the Boston Hill uh, Visitor Center, so we're hanging out right now and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the Buckeye Trail Blue Hen Falls. Uh, I think it's about a three uh, mile round trip and uh, unpaved, some steep hills according to them and we'll see how things go. Kind of a side note, when we were looking for this online, Amazon has a national park, some type of booklet. I, I don't remember what they call it, but it's not this. <laughs> so this is the one where it like explains the parks and where you can get the stamps. The one on Amazon, they sell it for cheaper. I think it was maybe seven to 10 bucks, but people will tell you it's, it's not this. It's not the same thing. So don't get the cheap one. Just come to a national park, pick this up for like 13 bucks. If you buy it online, I think it's an extra like $10 maybe. So if you're gonna be a national park, Let's get it there. It's cheaper. Back on the trails. <laughs> We're doing the Blue Hen Trail now. Brandy minus 3.8. The Blue Hen is supposed to be about three miles. So more waterfalls. Um, we did have to drive back over to the Boston Mill Visitor Center um, to get to this trail. But it's just across the street from the parking lot. Hiking down the Buckeye Trail, we happen to notice that the road noise is amazing. <laughs> it's just a little loud. <laughs> so if you want an enjoyable, relaxing time out on the Buckeye Trail, you cross the street, you're like, oh, it's nice. You go up a steep hill. Wow, this is a little exhausting, a little intense. But you can get to flatten out and you know, kind of above the ridges. And then you hear that. And it's like, I feel like I'm hiking along the highway as we are currently hiking. Yeah. Except we're hiking in the middle of the woods instead of on the highway. Who says an F-150 can't get uh, high gas mileage? 21.3 miles per gallon. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I may be going 30 miles per hour, but we were going through the uh, the town and I was still getting 20, 21. 
F-150 all the way, 5 liter, V8. Luckily, we were actually just at a rest stop, but the water that I had completely dumped everything. Water sprayed over here, water sprayed on the steering wheel. I think I kept a good composure though. I just stood there and I was like, uh, oh, what just happened? So. And it was ice water too. It was ice water too. So I'm a little cold. Um, we're gonna pull up here. I'm gonna change my drawers <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> We're gonna get back on the road. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm a little wet. Everything's a little wet. Good thing we have a neoprene seat cover. That probably saved me a little bit. Yeah, people are surprised that we have these seat covers. There's a reason for it, and it might be me. <laughs> but you can see the dash. Everything got drenched. Didn't really matter. So, oh, yeah. Even the windshield has. Oh yeah, windshield got sprayed. Yeah. Yep. yep, everything. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, good, good times. Yeah. Good times. And actually, it's not as much on the shorts, but I'm still feeling it because it, it kind of went underneath. So, mm. good times. I'm going to go change. There's also a nice pool on the floor. Thank you, WeatherTech, for collecting all the water. Yeah, right. Now we just get to dump it all out. This reminds me, I don't know. My shirt is dry. It all went forward. I went to grab it and the whole thing just poured over, <laughs> splashed up, and then just went down. Make sure you have a good hand on your water container before you decide to take a sip. Whoops. This is what happened. And then the dog's upset. Did it rain outside or in the truck? That's why it's always helpful to carry a uh, rag with you. There you go, bones dry. All clean. Well, all dry. I'm probably not always clean, but <laughs> I'm dry at least. That, uh, that was perfect timing. I couldn't believe how I was able to spill water on myself and the entire truck, well at least the driver's side and part of the passenger side, and still be able to pull into a rest stop that was like 0.1 miles away. Amazing. We've hit our 14th state. Gotta put the sticker on to make it official. New York. Mm -hmm. Gotta get accurate. I know. Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, there you go. All perfect. right. <laughs> Another like 30 to go. <laughs>
We got an awesome workout in this morning at Lake Erie State Park. They have some hills here, so we were able to run up the hills, uh, walk down it, did that it's a good 15 times. Ryan uh, ran around the campground a little bit. I lifted some weights. Uh, very good morning. This is a great place to, to get a good workout in. Lots of open space here. Now we're heading off to see Marmaduke. I didn't realize that Brad Anderson and Marmaduke have a home in Brockton, New York. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> He's just going where I ask him to. It's three and a half miles from the campground. It's worth the trip. Good old Marmaduke. Oh. See, nobody told me that this was the Marmaduke. Do you remember Marmaduke now? Okay, yes. <laughs> I, I, I know Marmaduke now. I just didn't, I guess I didn't put two and two together. You know, sometimes that happens where they just don't. Those click. synapses don't connect. They're not yeah. firing mine, off. Mine, mine are more like this, <laughs> and then, and then this. And then goes around, yeah. Yeah. And eventually get to it. So. Yeah. Yeah. He, he needs to see to remember. And yeah. I'm a, I'm a visual. Like mm -hmm. I need to see something to know what it is. Yeah. I I don't read quite as well. So that's that's a pretty good visualization. Him there. Imagine Brad Anderson. It's a good stop. He's just sitting on his butt. Yeah. <laughs> enjoying a little meal. Sitting there eating lunch, enjoying life. Because we were just staying at Lake Erie um, State Park and their dump station is overflowing and I wondered if there's any way we could dump our tanks at your campground. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. We'll be there in uh, probably 20-30 minutes. Okay, thank you. At a state park that the dump station is full, just call another state park and say, hey, can we dump? Seems like a, it's not a 